So Encounters started in 1994 uh, as Brief Encounters uh, and it was seen as a one-off celebration of the centenary of cinema. Uh, exactly 100 years from when the Lumia brothers set up a camera outside their factory, this was going to be a celebration and decided to mark that centenary. They would showcase short films, so both uh, from the archive and also contemporary short films in a kind of one-off celebration. And it proved so successful that they was like, oh, let's do it again next year. And sooner or later, before you know it, you've got an annual festival. We try and tailor the festival every year so that it's a relevant showcase of current trends and activity within the industry uh, and it's accessible you know it, but there's no green room there's no uh, VIP process the filmmakers get exactly the same pass that someone can buy off the, off the street that goes for our special guests anyone that's doing a panel discussion or net you know or a master class or you know the high profile Q&A they'll be sat in the same bar that every, that every person buying a ticket on the door will be so everybody is accessible yeah, I found out about the competition. I, I think it was through Hive. I always wanted to make a nice second short film like Depict, which is here in Counties. Uh, but I'm not sure. I think I just struggled for an idea and I knew I had belief, but belief was too long, so I kind of re-edited it, been a bit cheeky with it. Took some like, 20, 30 seconds out and just submitted it and completely forgot about it. Encounters so far has been absolutely amazing. What I've really noticed is this uh, strange kind of community of filmmakers. I go to several film festivals across uh, England, like Rain Dance, As Asfetica, uh, and uh, Edinburgh. And you all see the same faces, the same, uh, same filmmakers, but also the same panellists. So it's kind of nice to just kind of be in the same group of people and know that you're all moving forward with your own work. Whether you're a first time filmmaker who's only just thinking about purchasing a camera, let alone making their own film, or if you've made 20 films, you know, feature films, you know, and won awards all over the world, you're in the same boat and the festival needs to be relevant for both of you. Uh, so, and, and you'll often be sat at the same table having the same conversation about the same film you've just seen. And that's the beauty, I think, of the festival. Um, people should go to film festivals to see uh, unique voices and uh, just, just films that aren't really represented anywhere else, stuff you would never see in a, an Odeon or a, a cine world. Um, you can find it online, but this is very curated. It's, it's very like that they have a specific vision they want to present, especially the animation. And again, yeah, it's just stuff you would never find anywhere else, so this is perfect if you want to get out of your comfort zone and experience something new.